good evening. How are you doing? I'm all right. Good. Thank you for being so patient and waiting for us today. We greatly appreciate it. I want to welcome you all to the Beyond Elegance event. Launch extravaganza. And let's get excited and give a round of applause. Um, I'm excited to be here, and we're here for a very good reason. We have two phenomenal women who have put this event together, and they are super excited about what they're getting ready to do with their business. So I'm just excited for them. We have a phenomenal fashion show. Did y'all bring your checkbooks? <laughs> y'all laughing? I see a couple of gentlemen in here. I hope y'all brought your checkbooks. If your ladies are here, because there's going to be some hot outfits that's going to come out. We have Critique Boutique, Tony Foster. She has, she is the one who's donating the fashions for the fashion show. So it's gonna be something here for everybody. We're gonna have a motivational moment. Yeah. Um, I think it's just really um, special that these two ladies are launching their own business, but they wanna motivate you while they are launching their business. So I think that is good. So I just want to now take my time and introduce to you all these two phenomenal women who have put this event on. How many of y'all know Benita Parker? Woo! Yes, Benita Parker is, um, you know, she is the event planning queen. And she has come together with Kim. You all know Kim? I'm going to have to tell the bartender to put a little bit more in them drinks. Because y'all now who on it like I need to. Y'all know Kim? These two ladies have decided to take their gifts and talents and to merge them together to have one phenomenal company, Beyond Elegance Event. And they're using this company, so if anybody in here is getting married, you want to renew your vows, you're having a 50th birthday, none of y'all look like y'all over really 21, having a 24th birthday party, they are the event planners for you. Anybody who knows Benita knows she is like the organizer of organizers. Kim is the ultimate decorator. Has anybody seen her decorate? Yeah. I went to this event and she had this cupcake thing and I was like, are they real cupcakes? I, I, get, I get excited about the littlest things. I was like, oh my God, the girl can decorate. So let's talk about you taking some organizational skills. We're talking about an excellent decorator, and they have come together and blended. And these women have been doing phenomenal things. It's not just what they're doing for this business, but they have helped other businesses do things. They have some highlights of what they've done. They have put together events that included Stedman. Yes, Stedman. Without the Oprah. <laughs> Shantae Moore. I don't know if any of y'all know about James Melichak, but they've done things that they have brought these people together and done their events and put their events together. And when I'm talking about events, I'm talking about corporate conferences with over 2,000 people. So these women have some phenomenal talents and they're doing some phenomenal things. And I just want to give them one more round of applause before, we, before I bring these ladies in. So y'all, let's give them applause for this. off the stage, because you know Benita going to make a grand entrance, <laughs> and Kim as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to bring to the stage the two ladies who have brought this event together, the two ladies who are going to take event planning to the next level, Benita Parker! look out and see all of you all here to support us this evening. Thank you all for attending. Please allow me to welcome you all to the official Beyond Elegance events extravaganza and launch. My name, Benita Parker. I would like to thank you all for being a part of this event. <coughs> Excuse me. 
please give yourselves a round of applause for coming out and supporting us. Hi I'm, hi, I'm Kimberly Williams. I'm from Miami, Florida, home of the Miami Heat. The partnership between Benita and myself was no accident, as we believe that everything happens for a reason, as it should. Back in 2010, I came across Benita's advertisement on a wedding website. She was hosting her annual bridal expo at the National Harbor. At that point in my career, I was looking to broaden my horizons. I followed Benita, her work on social media. I visited her website. I decided to reach out to her. We emailed back and forth, even had a few phone calls without ever physically meeting. We hit it off immediately, which prompted me to sign up to be a vendor at her show. So I flew out to Maryland never been out of Miami <laughs> and from that point forward we decided we developed a long lasting friendship that blossomed into the reason why we're standing here today the mission of our joint venture is to mesh Benita's planning and marketing insight with my keen eye for detail and creative flow to develop and design unique events that will definitely set new trends within this industry thus Beyond Elegant Events was born, and tonight we celebrate. Okay. I, along with my partner, Kimberly Williams, would like to open up the evening um, by commending, applauding, and giving praise to our mistress of ceremony, Ms. Tawan Lowe, for making the time for making the time to be here and agreeing to host this event for us. Um, I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with Ms. Lowe, but she is the CEO of Tawan Lowe Enterprises, the founder of Women Walking in Their Own Shoes. Now this is a movement, it's global, and it focuses on women in business who are not afraid of walking in their own shoes, excelling in their passions, and shining in their own lights. That is why we stand here before you tonight. We are shining in our passions, and we felt that she would be the perfect candidate to lead us through this event this evening. So please, everyone, let's just give a warm round of applause for Ms. Tawan Lowe. Can we give these ladies a big round of applause for them? And just more, just how they come together. I mean, isn't that awesome that two women, because you know, always talk about when women can't get along and women can't do that. Well, let's look at what these two women are doing. They're coming together, they didn't know each other, they came together, and now they are birthing something, they're putting something together. And we all know we're going to look back three years from now and be talking about, ooh, can I Facebook Benita? Can I Facebook Kim? Because now they really hanging out with Oprah. They ain't stead the now it's Oprah. Because they gonna get this. Let me just give this back to the owner. One of the things that Benita said to me when she said to Juan, I wanted you to host, she said, I want to do kind of a motivational moment because it took a whole lot to get me here. And it took a whole lot to get Kim here. And I kind of want women to be motivated. And I kind of want to see them move forward. This is not just about us coming out, doing our business, and having a launch, selling tickets, having our friends and family just come out. But it's also about encouraging other women to use their gifts and talents. It's about having them to just say, you know what? I want more for myself. I want more for my life. And if they can be an example of doing it, Every woman and man in this room can do it as well. So first, before I get started, I want to say this. Let's give the men in the room a big round of applause because you know we are number one One of the things I want to talk about would encourage me, because Benita was like, Tawan, I told you, you know, she's so into what you're going to do, what you're going to do. She was like, what are you going to talk about? And I said, well, I think I'm entitled my talk, don't sit on your talent, work it. 
And one of the reasons I came up with that title is because if we look at why we're here today, we're talking about two women who decided that they weren't going to sit on their talent, but they were going to work it. So I figured that would be just so appropriate for me to take a few minutes and say to you all, are you sitting on your talent? If everybody sat on their gifts and talents, where would we be? There would be no runway for me to walk up and down on. There would be no microphone for me to speak into. There would be no DJ playing the music. There would be no event by Benita and Kim. So it is very important that you get in touch with who you really are and know what your gifts and talents are and that you use it. Because when it was given to you, it was given to you to craft, that's the first thing. You have to craft it. Once you figure out what your gift and talent is, you're supposed to craft it. But I mean, like, I don't understand where I'm coming from and what I'm talking about, how it is so important for us not to just sit on what God gave us. And I'm going to say God because that's what I believe in. And I believe it's a gift that he gave me at birth. And one of the reasons that I'm so passionate about working with women and having them use their gift is because I sat on mine too long. Because see, once you're willing to use what's given to you, God will open up the doors and he will make a way. That's why I'm on this stage today, because for real, I'm using what was given to me. And you have to find out what do you have, because when you don't use what God has given you, truthfully, you just slowly die. Because your purpose is wrapped up into your gifts and talents. There is so much talent in this room. We have Lisa Dove Washington, or Lisa Dove with Dove Magazine. Lisa, raise your hand. with over 20,000 viewers on this magazine. So that means she's writing, she's putting things together, she's interviewing people, she's using her gifts and talents. Then she's sitting next to the one sexy wife. This is Gail Crowder who has bringing sexy back to the marriage. So if you are married, and if you want to stay married like she is for 25 years, she has a conference. And I've gone, I'm not married, because I told you he left me this morning, right? So, <laughs> go to the conference. I mean, it's a really good conference. They use um, spiritual principles. They teach you a little pole dance thing. I mean, if you're married, they got it going on. I want to see her. And then we have Women Elevation Magazine, Delisha. She is using her gift and So the in the room at we're just talking about three women right here who are doing what they're supposed to do with their gifts and talents. And what I want to do is encourage you ladies, when you leave here today, think about what your gifts and talents are. If you really don't know what your gifts and talents are, go find out. I'm willing to help you because I am a coach. That's what I do, but I'm not here selling my business. What I want you to do is walk away empowered. I'm just saying, everything that we do, everything that comes to us, there's nothing we can do without somebody else's gift and talents, period, point blank. If you think it's something that you can do without somebody's gifts and talents, then you're sadly mistaken. When you go to the doctor, that's the doctor using his gift. When you go to a lawyer, you want to make sure when you go in the courtroom, he knows everything, all his knowledge. Matter of fact, you want to make sure that your lawyer is passionate about what you do because he won't see you as a check, but he will see you as somebody who's going to represent and represent you well. So I just want you to think about when you leave, when you go home, and when you just start thinking about what you want for your life. Because I want y'all to know that I went somewhere, and the lady started talking about what she said to her 90-year-old self. I was like, wow. So I went home, and I had a conversation with my 90-year-old self. And I had my 90-year-old self talk to my 40-year-old self. And my 90-year-old self told me what legacy I left when I died. And I'm asking you, what legacy are you willing to leave for your children, for your family, for your community, for this world? Because let me tell you, women are doing phenomenal things. It's not just a man's world anymore. That means every woman in here has something to give and something to offer. Last week, Forbes came out with the 100 most influential women in the world. Guess what? My 90-year-old self said, you need to work it, boo, so you can be on this list. It was just... Oprah and Beyonce, I was a little pissed. I don't know about y'all, but I wanted to look like me too. That person, I have nothing against the other race or anything like that, but we all have some gifts and talents in here and we ought to be sharing it and we need to be giving it back to the world and we ought to be making a difference. Now I can't dance like Beyonce, but I'm sure I can sit down on the couch and have a talk show like Oprah. Because once you start using your talents, guess what God does? He is Spain. It don't just stay there, it expands. I just started off as a coach. I wanted to have a 
conference. He kept saying, he kept saying walking in their own shoes. I was like, walking in their own shoes? What did they mean? Okay, I like shoes. I could walk in mine. <laughs> I didn't get it. And one day he said, start a movement. Mm, mm, that's much responsibility. I don't want to do that. But I started the movement. And is it hard? Yes, it is. But am I going to do everything to make sure that I do what I'm supposed to do to encourage every woman who is not walking in her own shoes? Yes, I will. That is my goal. That's part of my mission, to share my talent and to share my gifts with them. And if my coaching would help one woman decide that she's going to walk on her own shoes and do her own thing, I have accomplished my goal. But when I started, I started here in just coaching. And I started coaching because I want to help women because my husband did leave me. And my life went to transition. And I had to reinvent myself. And in reinvent myself, I decided that I was going to do me. And that meant use my gifts and talents. Some of y'all need to be a brand new you. You need to reinvent yourself. The man ain't got to leave, he can come. He ain't gotta go, he can stay. But you might wanna do something different for the next chapter of your life. All I'm saying is think about use your gifts and talents. Think about this when you go home. What would you say to your 90 year old self? What legacy are you leaving for your family? What are you doing to change your community? What are you doing for this world here abroad? Are you sitting on your gifts and talents or are you working it? Remember, every day that you go home, when you go home, you can't do nothing without somebody else's talents. When you flip on the light, mm -hmm. you, better be, you better be real glad that person didn't give up and say it after the first attempt, oh, it didn't work. They did it. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for this time. I ask that when you go home again, just give some consideration to if you're using your gifts and talents, and if not, I just ask you to stop sitting on them and to work them. Thank you. Okay, y'all, we have some entertainment for you tonight. And I would like to introduce to you all a Mr. Victor Jones. He's going to come out and he is going to be the magician, mind reader, and illusionist. Oh, wow. So I'm going to sit all the way in the back. <laughs> I don't want you to read my mind because you might not like what I'm thinking. An illusionist, I don't know what he's going to make me see. <laughs> um, but he's going to come and he's going to perform for y'all. So let me just talk about Benita and them and put this event together. I have never gone to an event and seen a magician outside of the little one. Do you know how entertaining this is going to be for us? He's going to come in here and start reading y'all minds. Get y'all minds together now. <laughs> Get them together. Get it together now. Get it on something positive. Start thinking about your business. Don't work it. Don't be thinking about what you're eating tomorrow after church. Come on. Get it together. Don't think about when you get home to your man. He's going to bust you out when you get out there. So he has been featured on 93.5. Um, he, he has worked for Applebee's. He's worked for IHOP. He has done many company events and has been featured on many different um, shows and radio stations. And he is obviously a very phenomenal, phenomenal person. Oh, what is it? Yeah, he's a magician. Okay. <laughs> so, we don't want him to read my mind. I can tell all that. Okay, y'all, I want to bring to the stage now this young, dynamic man who's 17, who is not sitting on his talent, but he is working it. Let's bring the magician in, Victor! Um, well, I don't need a mic. I can talk loud. No, you want to use this mic. We want to hear what you got to say, Sam. This part of the way is what I said. Oh, so get away. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> now, what I did last night, I had a dream last night. Mm -hmm. And this prediction right here is a seal and a vote with my predictions on it. Um, can you hold on to it, sir? Okay. Now, we need six people up here. Y'all getting set up. <laughs> <laughs> set up. <laughs> I ain't scared. 
That's right. I cleared my mind. I'll do you first. Tell me stop anytime you want. You want to speak up, baby? Okay. They need you to speak up, Vicky. Can you stop anytime you want? Stop. I'm going to call it. I'll show the card. Can you stop anytime you want? Stop. Right here. Can card? I'll show the card. Can y'all hear him? No. I'll just speak louder. Um, <laughs> can you come over here for a little bit? Can you stop anytime you want? Stop. Right here. Can you stop anytime you want? Am I supposed to look at it? <laughs> Am I supposed to look at it? No, don't look at it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, until we stop and take one. Okay, get started and look at it. All right, now you, um... <laughs> stop. 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 Now, everybody turn their cards over. So the audience can see? Yeah. So the audience can see? Okay. Now, you all have different cards, right? Right. One has two of hearts, four of hearts, five of hearts, two of diamonds, five of diamonds, and four of diamonds, right? Before I started, I said I said I made a prediction, right? I had a dream last night, more of a vision, so I get these sometimes. It's more part of my presentation, so. Um, open it up for me. I read what it says. What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? We need a mic. I told you, baby. <laughs> supposed to listen to your elders. <laughs> we got two of diamonds, four of diamonds, five of diamonds, two of hearts, four of hearts, and a five of hearts will be picked. All right. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> How you do that, Victor? How you do that, Victor? Do it again, Victor. <laughs> okay, I need four people up here. Don't invite my man here first. Okay, so if you don't come up, I'm gonna come get you. Three, we need one more. Come on, one more. Can we get one of the men to come up? I know that's asking a lot. Okay. All right, come on. Okay. Um, let me figure this question in. Now, all these have different colors in here, so just pick one. But whoever had the yellow one, do not tell me who had it, okay? I want you, when I turn around, to, to point your head, I mean, your head, your hand in the air, okay? Okay. All right. All right, close my eyes. You point your, head, uh, your hand in the air, okay? Who's supposed to point their hand in the air? The person with the yellow? The yellow one? No, the person with the white one, sorry. Hey. Okay? All right. Now, I want everybody, like, to put their hand out like this. So I don't know who which one I got? Okay. Um, now, this is what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to lie to me if I have it or don't have it. So I want everybody to say no as I go down, okay? <laughs> okay. Um, do you have it? No. Do you have it? No. Do you have it? No, I don't. Do you have it? No. Do you have it? No. Do you have it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now somebody's lying. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know you don't have it, so show me your hands. You don't have it, okay? Go sit down. Thank you. I keep it? Yeah, you keep it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, this time, would you just tell me yes, okay? Because what I'm doing is I'm reading their body language there, um, stuff like that. When I was eight years old, I studied, um, yeah, <laughs> I studied um, body language, suggestions, hypnosis, stuff like that. Once eight years old, so yeah, I was going heavy. It's like um, so um, this time, this time, when you told me yes, if you had it, no. <laughs> Of 
course I do. <laughs> yes. Okay. Now I know you don't have it, so so you're happy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay. So one y'all have the coin, and you have the um, yellow one. I'm not me, uh, white one. I have a speech about that too. That's why sometimes I study. Um, <laughs> this time, when you tell me no, you don't have it. No. No. <laughs> Did you say first yellow? Can we put it on? a young lady that's in the house who's using her gifts and talents and not sitting on. So I just wanted to give a shout out to you. How you doing? Everybody got their ticket? Okay. Anybody want to come up and do the pool? One of my gentlemen. Okay. Now that you gave it to me, if you win, it's mine. Two Okay. It's my number. Uh, last four is three, two, eight, three. Three, two, eight, three. Now we need to look at your ticket. I'm not saying that you won't be just all the same thing, but we just need to look at your ticket because you might be trying to do some magic tricks, some illusions. <laughs> now, what's in this bag is um, actually from my table. So it is my book, a journal, a women walking in your own shoe bag, and a free ticket to come to our conference on October 4th and 5th. It's up, get ready, come to this stage. Y'all gonna love it, love it, love it. Woo! Fantastic fashion show. Awesome. Let's give it up for Victor, you guys. We have a great program in store for you guys tonight, in addition to what you just saw. Our featured highlight comes from a woman who I've had great pleasure of meeting while working on another event for another client. Her spirit was so genuine and her personality was so harmonious, we instantly clicked. And I knew at that very moment that she would forever be in my Rolodex. The owner of one of Maryland's hottest couture fashion boutiques, Critique Boutique, and renowned fashionista, everybody please welcome Mrs. Tony Foster. Hello, is everyone enjoying themselves? Yes. I told Anita that I don't know why she introduced me first. Usually they come out last. I don't want to like to do a whole lot of talking. I like to talk through the clothes that I'm going to show you tonight. I hope everyone enjoyed what they see. If you do, anything you see tonight is definitely for sale at a discount price. Um, so uh, without further ado, let the show begin.
angels in the dark. Which one of you went there, but ready to go again? The beauty is a traitor, everyone is paid.
She does have some things that are available here today, anything that you like. <laughs> DJ, we're ready. <laughs>
It's a million dollars for every million dollars. Only one scream over a million dollars. Okay. The last three numbers hit, well, the last four numbers are three, two, six, four. Let me tell you what you have won. A mini photo session. Oh. See, I told y'all, I was supposed to get excited. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she won a mini photo session, and you know we have a photographer on. She was on site, she was just back there. She's our paparazzi, she's trying to capture everybody's picture. You can check with her, and you can go meet with her, and you can cash in, I'm not cash in, you can go with her, and she will tell you everything that you need to do so you can do it. Here she is, right here, come on, come on. Yeah, I know gonna take picture today. Don't get your camera, no, This is your winner of the minute, so whatever you need to do, I can exchange afterwards and get all the information, and um, can I get your pictures? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> y'all, this concludes our fashion show for the evening. I want to thank you all for being so patient, for being so um, gracious with us and starting a little bit um, on time. Uh, everybody, did y'all enjoy yourself? the videographer, we want to thank everybody, Keisha Hunt for doing the makeup and for doing some of the hair and for also donating her jewelry for the accessory part. We definitely want to give many, many thanks to Victor. <laughs> tricks and be playing with our mind and talking about the trick is over with and be like, huh? What did you do? Did you so? I just want to thank you. And then we want to bring Bonita and Kim back to the stage. Bonita and Kim. And y'all do know after the event that there is a networking reception and party. The DJ is going to get down. He's going to throw down some music. We want you to come and have a good time and party with us. Look at this Bonita again. Thank you all for coming. I hope you enjoyed um, the show that I put together along with the help of all of the um, sponsors and participants and volunteers and models. Uh, we're going to move into the reception, get our party on, have some fun. That's it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm tired. The reception will be next door. Correct. Okay, yeah. next one. The reception will be next door. All you have to do is look over and move over forward. Look forward to seeing you. Um, Benita's going to come back and she's going to be in a new fabulous outfit, y'all. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you all for coming and see you next door. Thank you. 
love it. I love it. We really enjoyed ourselves. Yeah, the fashion was wonderful and the jury as well. Yes. Hi everyone, my name is Yvette Daniels, originally from New York City, proud proprietor with my husband Franklin Daniels. We're excited to be here for the launch of Beyond Elegant, and also, we had a wonderful time. Hi, my name is Sabrina DeHaley, I'm here at the Beyond Elegant Expo, supporting the meeting, brilliant and new endeavors. Oh, I absolutely loved it. Can't wait to come to another one. It was an honor to actually meet uh, Miss Walker. Um, heard so much about her, so I, I'm glad that I found this event and hope she has something else in the future. I'm very happy that I came out tonight because I really enjoyed the fashion show. I thought it was a beautiful event and the people and the energy and the vibe was just amazing. And I definitely be coming to more BE events. Thank you.